Hello, and welcome to a new series on the channel where I'll be playing I'll need to be in about 10 react. seconds. How's the beta deck? I just wanted to okay, join cookie, this with one. Um, okay, okay, got it. And I just wanted to like, make some content for the channel, of course, so, yeah. I'll be playing the other series, too, since they got the bundle on Steam. I mostly will, I'll most likely not play movies, TV, or sports. Definitely not. Sports. One. Just me. Yeah. I'll just enter my name. I won't do any Easter eggs yet. Okay, you want to do a seven question game or you want 21? We're doing 21 for. Roger that. 30 seconds. Your buzzer is the letter B, is in Betsy Ross. Who? I don't know. This is, nine, this is the 90s. Okay, Hal, can we cue the commercial? You got it. 20 seconds. Okay. Alright, question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You got that? Yep. 10 seconds. Okay, everybody, any quiet. 86th of the desktop, please. Host, stand by. Okay, ready, come on, go. Okay, here we go. Okay. What? If you're good at other trivia games, it don't mean jack now. Welcome to the program. You're playing what? solo for this show? Yep. All right, let's do First it. First game. Okay. How about it? Hit me with a category. Um, guess we'll do the green joke. This one's gonna be, look, there's Uranus. And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. Hope you're ready, cause here's one coming at you. What is a black hole? A term for all Disney movies from the 70s, no. a dead planet, a hole in space that has no gravity, or a collapsed star that only emits x-rays. Oh, uh, 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 Go for it. Uh, three? Hello? No. I I don't you know, really you know the term. Picked, you could have picked this. Okay, the I should have picked that. So dense that only X-rays can escape their pull. Okay. Um, okay, pick a category. I don't really know. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Heaven and the ill effects of inflation. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. Due to the rising costs of after living, God wants to replace Heaven's pearly gates with a cheap low maintenance entryway that resembles pearl. What would be the best alternative? Heaven's sapphire hallway, Heaven's moonstone door, Heaven's topaz chute, or Heaven's amethyst fence? I think that's moonstone. Knock, knock, knocking on Heaven's moonstone door. Yep. Moonstone looks like pearl and yeah. was commonly used as bottles on funky easy 70s question. clothing. St. Peter could use some of the leftovers to fix up his discoing threads. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Uh, just do two. Next up. Because Jane has no taste. And this one's gonna be worth $3,000. Okay, so Tarzan is redecorating his tree hut and decides okay. to let his animal friends help him choose the right color scheme. Which one of these animals has the complete color vision required to help Tarzan pick out the drapes? The leopards, the elephants, the snakes, or the apes? Oh, my. It's all yours. Apes. They perceive the full spectrum of color from yeah. the blue end to the red end. Okay. And speaking of red ends, I hope Tarzan has some soft cushions for when the baboons come over. What? What? How about it? Hit me with the category. I'll do three. You're my question for the, the classic one. Here's the category. Stuff you say on the street. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. I right, tell me, who the hell is Lisa Del Giacondo? The famous lady in red, the Mona Lisa, Henry VIII's second and fifth wife, or Mussolini's mistress? 
I have no clue. I, I know Mona Lisa. I'm just gonna go Mona Lisa. Screw it. The Mona Lisa. Yep. I know Mona Lisa Wipe was grand off your named face. Lisa. So that was a complete guess on my part. Okay, pick a category. The category behind this question is games people played before us. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Which card game would probably be the biblical character Onan's favorite? Go fish, old maid, solitaire, or war? No. I have no clue. <laughs> Here's what you should have guessed. Solitaire. Yeah, Onan liked doing things alone. He's the son of Judah in the book Genesis, and he was the first kid to get I have spilling no clue. his seed. Of course, I'm sure he wasn't the first one to spill it, because uh, I gotta think Adam jerked off a lot before Eve showed up. But, what? you know, there's no one there to catch him. Okay, I mean, I guess that's... How about it? Hit me with the category. The name of this category is Acronyms and Acronauts. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. According to the New York Public Library, which of the following is not a real acronym what? for an existing organization? Bass, Bass Angler Sportsman Society, SAP, Socially Aware Politician Society, Calm, Citizens Against Legalized Murder, or Few Federally Employed Women. Oh, uh, uh. Now, what was the tip off? Oh. Total guess. Politician and aware appear in the same I've sentence. never heard any of these except I think I thought of Bass. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Uh oh. Here we go. Yeah, there's only gibberish questions in this, which suck. Because I know how hard these are. The category for this gibberish question? Baby monkeys and corporal punishment. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. All right, ready? Now don't let the punctuation fool you. With what cliche does this rhyme? A pup sore. A pup sore with, with trout. A pup sore with trout. And number one, no one will say this if you're good. A pup sore with trout. No one will say it if you're good or if you're physically fit. A pup What's sore a with trout. Shame, are we? I do not know. It's often said to soldiers. Better hurry, it your ship's about to leave the dock. I don't know. Are you kidding? What, what kind of a contestant are you? Let me tell you something, soldier. You better a pup sore whip trout. I've never heard of that. You heard the man, you better start getting some answers right, or we're gonna have to take this CD-ROM away. <laughs> CD-ROM, yeah. Okay, pick a category. I've been getting questions right. The category, breakfast cereal and the undead. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. Now every kid knows the classic triumvirate of the sugary monster cereals, Frankenberry, Boo Berry, and Count Chocula, but what was the discontinued fourth monster cereal? Rice Krypties, Cinnamon Corpse Crunch, Fruit Fruit, or Vanilla Godzilla? Fruit Fruit. Fruit Fruit, the werewolf cereal. I never heard of that, but literally the other ones, they know where they would have Godzilla. How about so. it? Hit me with the category. I don't know. The category is It's a toga party and everyone's coming. And this one's gonna be worth two thousand dollars. Put your legs on my shoulder. If the mythological Roman lovers Retumnus and Pomona were to engage in mutual and simultaneous oral stimulation, it would most likely be referred to as what? MXV, III, DIC, LXIX, or MIC? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess. Oh, go for it. LXIX or 69? Oh, okay. Eight, two. I should have realized eight. that. Had no clue what they were going for for that. Okay, pick a category. Yo, have you a fence with nasty number 10? 
Haha, <laughs> funny 69 this one's guys. Be, why is it growing like that? This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Imagine an episode of 90210 on which Dylan tries to explain the inflationary theory to Kelly. Which of these books might Dylan use to help explain the inflationary theory to her? Male sexuality, the beginning of the universe, history of romantic poetry, or Western Europe 1917 to present? I guess Western Europe? Great job. Oh. Oh, that was the one you picked. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well. Should have picked this. <laughs> the inflationary theory helps explain the beginning and development of the universe. Oh. Probably not the Big Bang Kelly was looking for. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, we're at the end of round one. Now on to round two. It's round two time. Pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. And now, 11. All right, Round let's see two. what we're doing here. Nice finger. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4000 bucks. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. In the James Bond movie Goldfinger, what was Goldfinger's full name? Aura Goldfinger, Sir Raoul Goldfinger, Midas Goldfinger, or Dr. Myron Goldfinger, DDS? Uh... Sorry. I don't. Well, I shouldn't have guessed Too on bad that. You didn't pick this. Okay. Auric. It means gold. Gold. Gold finger. Kind of has a nice ring to it, don't you think? No. How about it? Hit me with a category. Oh, Here comes question 12. Next up. A hero for the 90s. Hello, this one's going to be worth $6,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. All right, let's say DC Comics proudly introduced a new superhero called Inertia Man. Of the following, which superhero power would you expect he'd be lacking? Oh. Ability to remain still even when pushed? Ability to move in the same direction for hours? Ability to resist even needed change? Or ability to go Nerta. so slowly you barely notice? I have no clue, and I don't want to guess because I lose all my money if I do so, so I'm not. And let's see the correct answer. Uh, even Inertia Man can't keep still when pushed. A body rest tends to remain at rest until acted upon by an outside force. And a body okay. motion, what you like to know, sicko. Okay, pick a category. Here's the category. Fun things you can catch. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Okay, all you hypochondriacs out there, get ready. Which one of these is contagious? Bunions, warts, corns, or calluses? Uh, Bunion? Didn't he have an ox named Babe? I don't know. And here's the right answer. Warts. Really? All kinds. They I, are a virus. I didn't know that. Thing. How about it? Hit me with the category. Uh-oh! Best Butts fits my Here war. we go. Once again, it's time for a... Snicker Flicks Master. Here's your gibberish category. Lipstick and drug abuse. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the okay. more money you win. Now you know there's no screwing your neighbor in this kind of a question. You ready to untangle some gibberish? Let's do it. What does this rhyme with? Scoop, your pal, a smadge of lipstick. Hex we pal, the dope shush. Oh, let's see what you got. Start typing and hit return when you're done. I don't know. I know what it is, but I don't know this well. You know, I'm gonna look this up. When you gotta finish, don't forget to hit return. Uh, oh, a little early on oh. the buzzer. You'll pay for that. God! I I try this. Too. Take all those little itty bitty words and smash them into one big word. Uh, I shouldn't have gone for it. From yet another drug-induced children's classic. Now, come on. Anybody's flying around like that? I think Mary was popping more than just a spoonful of sugar. Uh, well, cool. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. It's all going wrong now. The category is, guess whom we're having for dinner. 
I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If you took the deposed ruler of Cambodia and baked him in a light flaky crust, what would be the best name for your creation? Baked Shang Kai chicken, Mao Tse Kao's tongue, Mussolini and cheese, or Pol Pot Pie? I don't. Pol Pot Pie. I know Mussolini. I and knew I it was a Mussolini or Mao, so I've never heard of Pol, so... The category okay. behind this question is to sleep, perchance to dream. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Hang on tight, because here we go. According to Freudian psychology, dreaming about which of these would not be equal to dreaming about a penis? The Washington Monument, the Oval Office, the Empire State Building, or the Eiffel Tower? What? It's all yours. The Oval Office. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because it's the only piece of architecture in the group that isn't a huge public phallus. Yeah. Okay. Okay, pick a category. Chicka Jack is gone, let me hear you scream. It's question 17. The name in this category is Foie Gras Faux Pas. And this one is not going to be easy. $6,000. All right. Prometheus is at last unbound, and he's coming over for an evening of music and lighthearted conversation. Because its name might bring back some unpleasant memories for Prometheus, which band should not be a part of your playlist? Prometheus. Air Supply, Depeche Mode, Anthrax, or The Eagles? Uh... An Eagle... An eagle ripped out Prometheus' liver every day for a few hundred years. Yeah, he probably doesn't want to be reminded of that. Yeah. I've heard of that, I'm and pretty also, sure. I hear he hates Don Henley. What? How about it? Hit me with a category. Song to City. The category, Men with Big Clubs. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Okay, remember Captain Caveman, the hairy cartoon hero who solved crimes with the modern human no. teen angels? If you assume Captain Caveman is actually a Neanderthal, which statement would be true about him? He would be able to converse normally, he would give the teen angels full burials, his only tool would be his club, or he has a smaller brain than the teen angels. Neanderthal. Gonna have to dock you for that. Uh. In case you're curious about the correct answer, Captain Caveman would give them full burials if he had to, complete with flowers. Let's just okay. hope he makes sure they're dead first. What? All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. He's me. Oh. He's me. That's the 19. This one's going to be... Gee, that looks heavy. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. What does the name Rosetta Stone mean to you? She's the dark lady in Shakespeare's sonnets. She started the Montgomery bus boycott. It was a clue to deciphering hieroglyphics, or it's the largest stone at Stonehenge. I don't... I don't know. Now the correct answer is... Okay, what? Okay, pick a category. Okay, there was no joke there. There wasn't even an explanation, up, what? Batman and body odor. And this That's one's going to be worth $2,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, question. let's get busy. Complete this lyric. Jingle bells, Batman's... Easy. That is so easy. Of course, that guy will lay anything that moves, or anything that doesn't. Here we go. How about it? Hit me with a category. Okay, just I'll do this one. Jack attack. Time for the attack. Buzz in when two words match, and you got 2,000 bucks. Buzz in when there isn't a match, and you lose 2,000. And don't forget, it's not any old match we're looking for. It's the one that fits this clue. Mechanical helpers, get your fingers ready and remember that clue, because there's going to be no help along the way. Uh, how? Man, 
it depends. I had no clue. I don't know either. No. Rosie, yeah, okay. Probably data. Ziggy, I mean, that just appeared. That was a total guess. I have no clue. I think that the Star Trek is data. I mean, if it doesn't appear, then that's usually the answer. These jack attacks. Mm. And I don't know. And we're done. That was pretty good. Or decent. Player, when I think of you, I think of superlatives like great, amazing, mm -hmm. fabulous, trivia geek with no social okay. life, stuff like that. But don't thank me, because the real truth is... You, you, you don't know Jack. Jack. And we're out of here. Hey, great show, everyone. Really, really great work. Cookie, what's the plan? Uh, listen, excuse me. Uh, whenever you feel like playing again, you just gotta let me know, alright? Nah, I'm done.